Well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, time for another video, and I think we're going to try and do something with the rear brakes today. After a uh, successful change to the front, um, the rear brakes, well, they do look just a, a little bit rubbish, don't they? These little tiny drums inside these really big wheels, so we've got these really big gaps that you can stick your hand through. I thought that we should try and do something with that. I uh, looked around an awful lot at different options and different posts and I, I've basically I've plumped for the easy option. Um, I've plumped for the G60 uh, Golf conversion which changes the, uh, the spindles and the drums for uh, discs and calipers. Uh, as usual for me, I didn't actually bother to uh, spend any money on this, I bought it all cheap because um, that's, that's what I do, I bought it cheap. I'll, I'll be the first to admit this, probably silly, uh, bought it all second hand, so well, shall we see what it looks like, uh, just do the usual dull and boring video of taking all of that stuff off and uh, putting all the new stuff on and, uh, and we'll see whether or not we actually get the outcome that we want which is, well, not that and something that looks more like the front. But I don't think we're going to. But we'll see. So, let's take that little journey, shall we? Right, uh, gloves on. Lots of brake dust involved. So, first thing I need to do, first thing, uh, thank my lovely wife for my Christmas present. Thank you, honey. It's brilliant. So, I wonder what we will find under here. So, uh, uh, dust cover. Now, note this I say dust cover because I bet you what we're going to find under here is we are going to find that somebody's used it as a grease cover. Because it's probably going to be full up the grease, which is what usually happens with these covers. Yep, yeah, grease cover. Filled out with grease because the grease needs to be in the cap rather than on the bearing. think we're going to find in here. Now considering the brakes kind of worked on this, I don't think we're going to find in. Too distressing. That's drop tested that is. Ooh. That's kind of all right. Well, that's kind of all right uh, now that the camera's focused. So uh, I'm not going to bother showing you the inside of this. What I will do though is show you how nice and easy it is to uh, take apart. Uh, uh, pushing on the backs of the pins to make sure they don't pop in. Push, twist. So need to clamp off the rear brake line under here because otherwise the fluid's all going to leak out. I'm going to use a different set of uh, clips. All we're trying to do is just uh, is just clamp around the brake hose to make sure the fluid doesn't come out. 
I hasten to add I will be changing the, uh, these brake hoses as well, but for the moment we don't need to. What we do however need to do though is take off the, undo the brake shoes a bit because we need to take out the handbrake caliper, the handbrake caliper, the handbrake cable even. You'll know how useful these big grips are for this. Uh, I find it really much simpler if you take off all of this lot in one go so that we can get off the, uh, the handbrake cable. More drop tested. Right, so that leaves us with a raw back plate and an attached handbrake cable. I can't see in here as yet. Let's get this handbrake cable out. Not saying card change very often. I think we are going to leave the handbrake cable connected to the back plate for the moment. Right, let's uh, undo the uh, brake pipe. 11mm spanner, nice and easy. I'm going to speed this bit up so you don't get bored of watching. Okay, so once the uh, brake pipe's undone, uh, we just need to set about undoing the four bolts. Oh, crikey, this is... Um, I'll hold the stub axle on. I go straight through the back plate, straight through the stub axle. Uh, two have washers on. Two have a, uh, a plate which holds back the handbrake caliper, the handbrake caliper, the handbrake cable. Why do I keep calling it a handbrake cable? I don't know. So, I think we need to speed up this process. Four bolts off. You know what? Um, this is all uh, seized, and I'm not sure how to get this handbrake caliper off. So, what I do for the moment is I'm just going to leave that there because that's not what we're concentrating on. What we're concentrating on here now. Is, is the plate uh, of the rear beam and oh, can we uh, come on focus a hey. and uh, and to the new stub axle so this new stub axle as you can see uh, two bolt holes to mount the caliper on uh, four holes to bolt back onto here but it, it's, it's all grubby and it's all nasty, so uh, let's just give it a quick clean. I think it's important to add here that uh, I'm literally trial fitting these. Uh, I'm going to take it all back off again. If I'm happy with what it's like, clean everything. Uh, new bearings, uh, new discs probably, uh, definitely new pads, but I want to see what it looks like first.
Well, that was pretty simple. Um, so let's go get the uh, get the disc and get the caliper and um, and try those on and see what they're like. I'm just going to uh, pause the video for a while while I get everything else set up. Ah, I could apol apologise about the noise. Um, even though it is 20 past 8 in the morning, uh, my neighbours <laughs> seem to be very, very busy. Uh, I don't know what they're doing, but it's very noisy. So, um, anyway, let's just uh, get on. So, second hand disc, second hand wheel bearing. Um, I'm starting to think that this isn't isn't going well because um, I don't think this looks any better than where we were previously. So let's uh, try and slot that on. Slot that on. Nice and easy. Pick up my washer, um, probably can't see that but there's a, a little groove to make sure you put it in the right place. Little nut. Let's get a little bit of tightness on here. Now, as I say, this is trial fitting, this is not what this is going to be long term I just want to see whether I've uh, made a catastrophic mistake or um, or if I've actually done the right thing uh, by well by basically being a cheapskate so let's uh, let's get this brake caliper up here now at the moment there's no pads in here I kind of just uh, want to see what it looks like um, with a wheel on it yeah right let's put the wheel on my spigot rings falling out hang on right uh, so for anybody that doesn't know this is a spigot ring uh, this helps with a difference between the centre bore of the wheel and the centre bore of the car. So the centre bore is this section here where the wheel slots into. Now VWs have a small centre bore uh, which is 57.1 millimetres and the uh, but the wheel itself has a much bigger centre bore in it which is 67.1. So what this, this does is this takes up the gap between the two to make sure that you have the wheel centred properly on the hub. Always run these. If you're putting aftermarket wheels on your car and they slop around, make sure you fit these. They're really cheap, really simple. Slot over there. Means that the wheel centres properly there. Well, you can't see it from that angle, so I'm going to have to move the camera, so uh, bear with me just a second. Right, um, oh dear, uh, yes, well, I don't think it's any better than the brake drum. The only thing we're going to end up with is when I put a new disc on here, is a shiny disc. Versus the front, which we've already seen, are well, massive. Um, these just look really, really silly. So I think we're going to have to rethink and replan and actually come up with a proper design as to what we can do with this because, let, let's be fair, it does look really, really pony. Um, it's not good. I don't know with the Amer Do the Americans understand pony? I don't know. Ah.
well, all I can say is uh, I think I've just wasted um, probably 15 minutes of everybody's life um, doing something which I'm just going to take off again and redo because I don't think it's any good and I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and spend some real money. <sighs> That's disappointing. Anyway, if you like what I'm doing, which you probably don't, if I'm informative, which I'm probably not, uh, please like, please subscribe, please probably don't tell all your friends that you watch this channel because it would only be embarrassing anyway, and uh, come back for the next instalment of Break Upgrade. Um, it might come after the engine upgrade, it might come before the engine upgrade, but there is going to be a next instalment of rear brake upgrade because they're terrible. I'm sad to say, terrible. Uh, come back, watch another day. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.